తెలంగాణ టూరిజం డెవలప్మెంట్ కార్పొరేషన్ రాముల్ గారు మై కొలీగ్స్ కృష్ణ సునీత విశాలాక్షి శంకర్ రెడ్డి అండ్ ఆల్ అదర్ అవార్డీస్ అండ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ నిథేమ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐహెచ్ఎం స్టూడెంట్ ఆల్ అదర్ డిగ్నిటరీస్ విజిటర్స్ గెస్ట్ హూ హ్ కమ్ వామ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఇట్స్ ప్రివిలేజ్ ఫర్ అస్ టు బి విత్ యూ ఐ కంగ్రాచులేట్ ఈచ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ యూ దోస్ హూ గాట్ అవార్డ్స్ అండ్ దోస్ హూ కుడ్ నాట్ గెట్ అవార్డ్స్ ఆల్సో వై బికాస్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఆర్ ఇన్ మై వ్యూ యూఆర్ ఆల్ బ్లెస్డ్ పీపుల్ ఓన్లీ బ్లెస్డ్ పీపుల్ విల్ గెట్ టు వర్క్ ఇన్ టూరిజం అండ్ ట్రావెల్ బికాస్ వేర్ అదర్స్ గో బై పెయింగ్ యూ గెట్ పెయిడ్ టు బి దేర్ దాట్ ఈస్ ది అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ నో అదర్ సెక్టర్ గెట్స్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఐ కీప్ టెలింగ్ ఎవ్రీవేర్ ఐ వాస్ టెలింగ్ అవర్ చైర్మన్ స్టేట్ లెజిస్లేటివ్ కౌన్సిల్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఏ స్టూడెంట్ హూ స్టడీస్ ఇన్ ఎ గుడ్ ట్రావెల్ అండ్ టూరిజం కాలేజ్ హీ గెట్స్ టు వర్క్ ఇన్ సచ్ వండర్ఫుల్ ప్లేసెస్ వేర్ అదర్స్ గో బై అప్లయింగ్ లీవ్ అండ్ స్పెండింగ్ మనీ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సే తాజ్ వివంత ఇన్ శ్రీనగర్ ఇట్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సిచ్యువేటెడ్ ఇన్ సచ్ అ బ్యూటిఫుల్ లొకేషన్ పీపుల్ విల్ డై టు బి దేర్ వేర్ ఆర్ ద జనరల్ మేనేజర్ ఆర్ ఎ ఫ్రంట్ ఆర్ డెస్క్ మేనేజర్ ఆర్ ఎనీ అదర్ పర్సన్ వర్కింగ్ దేర్ బై గెటింగ్ పెయిడ్ దట్ ఈస్ ది అడ్వాంటేజ్ ది ట్రావెల్ సెక్టర్ అండ్ టూరిజం సెక్టర్ హ్యాస్ నో అదర్ ఇండస్ట్రీ హాస్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ సెకండ్ మోస్ట్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ యూ పీపుల్ హ్యావ్ ఇస్ అతిథి దేవోభవ so whom we treat as god our indian system indian culture always tells we should treat the guest as our god so you are in that sector to take care of the guest maybe all be it by payment but even when you pay also there is nobody to give you food nobody to take care of you if all the hotels are closed all the travel uh, supports are uh, closed what will happen to a tourist what will happen to a person who comes to us new place so you take care of them as if they are your own brother sister your relative your known friend so this kind of advantage no other sector will get by definition having enjoying this facilities the third most important is we are the maximum employment generators in the world tourism and travel sector is the maximum employment generator in the world today if you spend 10 lakh of rupees a million of rupees minimum of 90 jobs are assured to be created to be created in tourism sector whereas in manufacturing sector it is 30 in agriculture sector it will be about, about 11 so see the number of jobs which we are getting created so in any way in whatever fashion we see we have a big advantage and where are we today in uh, tourism sector we are nowhere near by the not even a 1% mark we are still um, lots of lots of grounds to cover not even 1% of potential we have covered so far so please understand the amount of opportunities you have especially the youngsters who have come here to listen uh, from the colleges and the youngsters who have just joined in this professions you are going to be the leaders of this industry tomorrow a day will come now today in hyderabad we have only 7600 odd star category rooms but it will go up to a lakh of hotel rooms in next 10 to 15 years to come 1 lakh hotel rooms you see how many general managers will be required how many fnb managers are required how many front desk officers are required how many cab operators are required you can imagine the and all of you are getting going to get faster promotions faster dividends faster profits if you are an industrialist uh, if you are an uh, entrepreneur the, the sector is going to expand beyond any one of your imagination beyond anybody's imagination because today in india only 0.25% of indians are traveling by air the lowest probably in the world 0.25% my, my dear friends whereas brazil which is a similarly placed country little more advanced in terms of infrastructure they have more than 4500 airports us has more than 14000 airports india we have only 74 functioning airports in the country 
see the opportunities of growth 74 airports to 14000 airports for them it's 30 crore population 14000 airports we are 130 crore population 74 airports if gmr when they started the new airport was started we thought so why did they bring a build so big airport where will be the people today if you go in the morning it will look like a bus stand very very difficult to get through morning 6 to even around up to 8 9 it's very difficult to get into the aircraft with lots of problems within 6 7 years this is the situation but mind you when 10 percent of indians start traveling then you you have to see the imagination so all of you are in safe hands it is going to become big those people who couldn't get awards will get hundreds of awards in future those who got awards will become if they continue the same good quality they will become industry leaders there is plenty of opportunities because india gets hardly 9 million foreign tourists only 9 million for a country of 1300 million population we get only 9 million tourists spain for example they, their population is 46 million they get 66 million to foreign tourist arrivals one and a half times more or less france 66 million population they get 90 million foreign tourist arrivals even bangkok a small city today it has crossed nobody can imagine today they are the if you see the city wise bangkok is the most visited city in the world today and they started way back in say 15 20 years back and hyderabad has all the potential to attract such number of tourists where technology and tradition are hands in hand where modernity and heritage is going hands in hand you have telangana and hyderabad where north meets south where east meets west where all the melting cultures melting languages melting traditions come together to form a beautiful mix of a beautiful place called then it is called hyderabad so if you have to see india in one city then that is hyderabad if you have to see india in one state it is telangana there is no other place other than these two if people have to see not because we are working in telangana or we are working in hyderabad i am not saying this this has been told not by me it was told by dr b r ambedkar when he, he was drafting the constitution he said hyderabad is the natural meeting place of india it should be the second capital of india that's what he mentioned even pandit jalal nehru mentioned so this founding fathers of our constitution of democracy always mentioned this but we are not taking cue out of it we are not working towards that direction so we have to work towards that direction make bigger dividends out of this traveling public in the country traveling public in the world so that if you we all of us are are putting our act together if you are working in close cohesion we can attract big numbers i i admit there are only two lacuna in our tourism uh, sector one is we don't have a we don't have sea we don't have snow but we have snow world if you want you can make it bigger and we have if you want to create one artificial beach we can create there is not big of a problem in technology area because we have the world's biggest animation industry in hyderabad most of the even hollywood movies animations are made here most of the beautiful uh, all the gra graphics are made in hyderabad so we can do anything in in this sector today so i call upon all of you to come together to work in close cohesion let's all of us put our act together make hyderabad as the most visiting destination most happening place and this can bring in number of jobs tomorrow say after 10 years nobody will be unemployed in this place nobody will be underemployed in this place nobody will be underpaid in this place because we have that kind of potential our, our temperatures are one of the best in the world is except march and april may precisely may is the real problem area otherwise our temperature is one of the best one of the most one of the, one of the healthiest climates we have in in india so let us 
make this a vow, a pledge to make Hyderabad as the most sustainable tourist destination. Let's work together and bring that kind of glory to this place. So, Sarvejana Sukhino Bhavantu. Thank you very much.